this is a tutorial on how to import a character into Unreal Engine. So this is the character in 3ds Max. He already has an animation. And okay, maybe gonna use another um, animation. Okay. So this character doesn't have skin modifier. All things are attached into this robot. So I'm going to export it first. First I'm going to select um, export. Select it. I already exported it once. I'm just going to overwrite it. So when we export we're going to unclick check turbo smooth just smoothing groups uncheck this here animation I'm going to use the animation so just click on bake animation then um, I don't have any skins or morphs and that's it I'm going to click OK and it takes a little bit of time okay so after I exported it it's giving me some uh, errors but that's not important these are only material errors but I'm going to go straight to Unreal Engine 4 unfortunately my computer is not powerful enough for Unreal Engine 5 I'm going to import the robot which I just called it robot FBX and I'm going to use the default settings when you import with animation already baked there are no errors okay so it imported I had to wait a little while it says it has an error could not find the bind pulse which is uh, not very important and you should have only one object which I'm going to put in the scene okay I'm going to scale him a little bit so it's bigger let's see if I fix um, okay so I think that's pretty good so I fixed the colors a little bit from here on the side add this character into a sequencer so the sequencer is from here at level sequence but I already made one so this is the sequencer so from here I'm going to add the robot into the sequencer and it should look like this and then uh, I'm going to add animation in this case is this one it's going to start from zero now let's see okay so um, basically that's how you import character into Unreal Engine 4 S with robots generally it's easier to import than a real person which has skin modifier so also from here I'm going to add a camera because this is for cinematic users this tutorial and Here we go. Okay, and I'm going to add the camera also to the okay to the sequencer, and also very quickly, I'm going to animate the camera. What we want to do is hit on here, transform location, and now. I'm going to add a key at frame 0 and at frame, I don't know, 2 
the last frame 190 or something I'm going to add another frame it's going to zoom in a little bit okay so it's zooming in a little bit and mm, then after that we're going to just a quick note if you want to see the camera physically you need to have press G on the keyboard otherwise it's going to go into game mode and you will not be able to see the camera so here I already have a preview of what this is going to look like and then to in order to render this hit render and it's going to ask me from where to where from 0 to I like to use the custom time frame myself and then it's going to capture movie it says capture movie but you need to know where you're doing this at so in this case the output directory this is very important be because after that you will not be able to find where you put your uh, the movie you have just rendered so this is important to see why you're rendering this and I'm going to render this it's asking me about saving so now it's going to render Here, 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 here